Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got something I don't do too often today. Some 12 gauge, this is from Noble Sport. This is their two and a quarter inch buckshot. Let's throw this sucker on the table and take a look. This ammunition was provided by Sam at SG Ammo for us to check out. We have two barrel lengths, a 19 and then two 13 inch barrels. I don't think these will run in the Model 11. We'll, we'll try them anyways, but mainly we'll mess around with the 870 and the SAS 12 semi-auto that probably won't run. 90 degrees outside today, Pro Chrono Digital as always, 10 to 12 feet. Let's do this. Up first we'll grab our Remington 870 SBS. This has a 12 and a half inch barrel. We can get five rounds in the tube plus one, so five plus one. Twelve hundred. Eleven ninety-nine. Uh-oh. Hit my ears there. 1158 1232, 1079, 1248, 1206. Bulls are certainly faster than the Aguila inch and three quarter shells, and because they are longer, they're not doing little backflips in the 870 action when you're trying to load them, so that, that's a good thing. Now we've got our SAS 12. This is a gas operated semi automatic magazine fed shotgun. I don't think it's going to feed these. We'll give it a whirl. Eleven thirty five. Uh oh. Hit the thing there. I think I should take the screens off. 1133. 12.50. 12.79. 1221 We loaded a couple up in our Remington Model 11 SBS just to see if it would cycle the action. I have it set up for light loads. Due to the short length of the shell though, 
you can't load the magazine up or when it goes to load it, it'll just drop them all into the carrier which then jams up the gun. So I just have one in the chamber and then one in the tube here. Nope. Did it that time. Looks like it's very inconsistent on the Model 11 if you get it to eject or not. Like I said, they won't feed in the magazine tube anyway, so kind of a lost cause there. Well, those numbers in the box don't lie. Certainly able to get the claimed velocity on the box here, even out of the shorter barrel length. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to see me do any more 12 gauge stuff, let me know. I'm not sure what else you'd want to see besides velocity on these. I'm not going to get into trying to do any accuracy test with shotguns. Again, I'd like to thank Sam at SG Ammo for providing us with ammunition to test. I like these a lot better than the Aguila shells because they actually did run in the 870 without any issues. They didn't do little backflips in the chamber as you were loading them. Until next time, catch you at the range.